Are you thinking about moving to Kamloops? Or maybe you live inside Kamloops and you're thinking about moving to a subdivision you're unfamiliar with? Then join me, Parker Bennett from Royal LePage Westwind Realty, as I break down all the subdivisions within the Kamloops area. On this episode, we're gonna take a deep dive into the subdivision of Barnhartville. We're gonna look at Barnhartville's culture and some of the key factors that make it such a great place to live. So without further ado, let's go check out Barnhartville. Kamloops has an abundant number of subdivisions, all with their own histories, uniqueness, and cultures, and Barnhartville is no exception. Tucked away at the base of Sunrise Mountain lies the subdivision of Barnhartville, one of the very few subdivisions elevated off the floor of the South Thompson Valley. Barnhartville is a green community with a country rural atmosphere which allows some of its residents to house domestic livestock like chickens, horses, and sheep, to name a few. Although many subdivisions have occasional wildlife interactions, Barnhartville would top the list with an abundance of native wildlife, which even include moose, which winter in some areas of the city limits, and although rare to catch a glimpse, this is something that I have witnessed personally on a number of occasions. Most of Barnhartville is located within the city limits of Kamloops, Although properties near the subdivision borders that are frequently classified as part of Barnhartville lie on the outskirts of town and instead are part of the thompson Nicola Regional District. These outlying properties and homes help to identify the overall culture of Barnhartville with more farms and quicker access to the backcountry. To reach the subdivision, drive eastward along Highway 1, veering off at the Dallas subdivision and ascending the hill that leads to the heart of Barnhartville. Perched upon the hillside, the mountains boast a unique atmosphere that draws people in, making it a distinct and sought after community in Kamloops. Approximately 17 kilometers or an 18 minute drive from downtown Kamloops, Barnhartville is home to around 1,100 dwellings. The average price point for a single-family detached home is $825,000, but with larger acreage properties in the area, selling can be upwards of $4 million. And I would like to note that the data that I'm using is coming from August 2023. Barnhartville's housing landscape offers a more diverse range of larger lot sizes to sprawling acreages tailored for equestrian and horses. Properties in the Barnhartville subdivision are connected to city water and city sewer, although there are some larger properties that are still utilizing private sewer systems. The subdivision is protected by the Dallas Volunteer Fire Hall, ensuring safety and fire protection in the community. Several local amenities contribute to the convenience of Barnhartville's residents. Happy Valley Foods slash SO Gas Station, the Pond Country Market, a gardening, gift store, and local eatery, the Dallas Barnhartville Baptist Church, and Barnhartville Community Hall provide essential services and a sense of community. Additionally, within a mere seven minute drive, there is access to a grocery store, pharmacy, and other non-essential conveniences. Finally, a notable feature of Barnhartville is Blackwell Dairy Farm. This dairy farm managed by the Blackwell family has been a part of Barnhartville's history since 1913 and resides within the city limits. If you're an outdoor lover or a nature enthusiast, you will be right at home in Barnhartville. The subdivision boasts an array of parks and outdoor spaces, including the Dallas Barnhartville Nature Park, Todd Hill Park, Todd Hill Soccer Field, and the Pine Tree Riding Club. Golf lovers can perfect their swing at Eagle Point Golf Course, while hikers and explorers have an opportunity to traverse various trails throughout the subdivision, connecting them with the environment that defines the area. Horse enthusiasts and animal lovers, you are going to thrive in this environment. With the presence of horses riding on the streets, trails, and equestrian clubs within the city limits, Barnhartville's residents tend to have a deep connection to nature and the land. Barnhartville has a selection of catchment schools. RLC Elementary and Valley View Secondary offer education to local children, while the French Immersion options include South Sahali Elementary and South Kamloops Secondary School. 
City transit and school bus services are conveniently available, ensuring that residents of all ages can navigate their way through the community. Barnhart Mill's culture is deeply rooted in its historical origins. The name Barnhart Mill was derived from Peter Barnhart, a conductor on the first Canadian Pacific Railway transcontinental train. Peter Barnhart established a property in the area as well as a post office, which was later named Barnhart Vale Office. The subdivision was given its name in 1978 when it became known as Barnhart Vale. Barnhart Vale showcases amazing views and natural surroundings. Its distinct location on the mountainside, coupled with its deep history and active community, offers an appealing living experience with stunning views, varied amenities, and a diverse backdrop, Barnhartville remains a great subdivision to live in Kamloops, BC. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of the Kamloops Subdivision Breakdown Series. Um, if you like this video, please check out my channel as I break down all the subdivisions of Kamloops. And uh, if you like real estate news and stats, please check out the Kamloops Real Estate Insider podcast as I literally break down everything related to the Kamloops real estate market. Thanks again and see you soon.